Andy Dalton, he's up for a new contract, right? Now, Andy Dalton hasn't gone to any Super Bowls, but his deal's done after this season. Can the Kaepernick deal actually affect the Dalton possible deal? It actually is going to have an influence pro and con on new quarterback deals. I'm just throwing a guy out like Cam Newton, uh, you know, you know, really Alex Smith to a lesser degree because yep. he's a veteran. But the Kaepernick deal, as everybody has since inspected, was a team-friendly deal, not a player-friendly deal. Mm. And it gives the team control for seven years, even control to the point where they can cut him you know, almost at any point. I mean, it's 12.3 signing bonus in million dollars, uh, 12.9 million guaranteed. But a guy like Andy Dalton actually said after practice yesterday that he, he could take a deal similar to that. Well, the Bengals should jump right on it. But I can tell you, for like a guy like Cam Newton, represented by Bus Cook, mm. or you know Alex Smith by a Tom Condon, veteran established agents, they don't look at this deal and say, "Give me one of those." Teams would look at that deal and say, "Give me one of those." So it just depends on your perspective. But Andy Dalton said, is on the record saying he'd be willing to take that. If I were Mike Brown and the Bengals, uh, the owner of the Bengals, I'd jump on it and hand him that contract. Gut feeling? Will he go the whole year without a new deal, like a Joe Flacco did? I think most people believe, yes, that there, there's a little Flacco component here. Let's prove it. Well, you know, if you know Mike Brown, it doesn't necessarily mean you're going to get Joe Flacco money if you go win a Super Bowl. So, so uh, I, I think there's, you know, Andy wants to get something done, yeah. something reasonable. The Kaepernick deal, if he's willing to take that, the Bengals ought to jump on it because that's that's a good team-friendly deal. Okay. And, and, and he can still buy groceries with it.